Okay, so this uh, first problem is going to be uh, area between uh, the x-axis and the function y, which equals x squared minus 2x, okay? So we're going to be calculating two different areas in this problem. And so the first area <coughs> is going to be that one right there, and the second area is going to be that one right there. So we're going to have the integral now from 0 to 2 of uh, this is going to be 0 now minus x squared minus 2x dx. And then we're going to add in the area from 2 to 3 of uh, just x squared minus 2x. And you can think of this as x squared minus 2x uh, minus 0. But it's uh, the the zero is a little redundant. So <clears throat> uh, the first thing that we're going to do is say, well, this is going to be the integral from zero to two. Let's just simplify this a little bit. That's going to be negative x squared and then plus two x dx. And let's just go ahead and we'll leave this one alone. Two to three of x squared minus two x dx. Right. So that's going to come out to <clears throat> negative x cubed divided by 3 and then plus x squared, that's going to have to be evaluated as 0 and then 2, and then plus, and this is going to become x cubed divided by 3 and then minus x squared, and this guy is going to have to be evaluated at 2 and at 3. So uh, I don't care about plugging in the zeros. Let's just plug in um, that 2. So that's going to become now negative 2 cubed divided by 3 and then plus 2 squared. And like I said, I don't care about the zeros because those are just zeros. And then that's going to be <clears throat> plus now 3 cubed divided by 3 minus 3 squared and then minus, that's going to be 2 cubed divided by 3 and minus 2 squared. Okay. And as far as I'm concerned, if you wrote this problem down on an answer and you left your answer like that, I'm counting that right. I, I, I have absolutely no problem with this answer. Okay. Granted, yes, you can go through <clears throat> and you can simplify. You can add all these things together, get a common denominator. Uh, <clears throat> But since this is calculus too, I'm trying to get you all out of the habit of thinking that you have to do that when you really don't have to. I mean, if you have a correct answer, I view it as a correct answer and I leave it like that. Okay. And for this video, I see we have some questions. So just for this video, let's uh, go ahead and do the second problem. So I'm going to have to upload a bunch of them. So <clears throat> that's just the area between curves. So we're going to do area between curves. And then there is going to be a u substitution problem, okay? And so, <clears throat> the second problem the test says, evaluate the integral of sine squared of x times cosine of x dx. Okay. So, for this problem, I would let u equal sine of x. And then du would equal cosine of x dx. And so this becomes then just the integral of just u squared du, which becomes u cubed divided by 3 plus a constant which becomes sine cubed of x divided by 3 plus a constant. Okay, so those are the first two problems for the test, just the u substitution and uh, an area between curves. <clears throat> 